And we gave Moses the book and set it as guidance for Israel's children. Do not take without me a trustee, an offspring among whoever we carried with Noah. Surely, he was a thankful slave. And we decreed to Israel's children in the book, you will spoil an earth twice, and you will be high grand haughtiness. So, if the first promise of them has come, we mission against you slaves of ours, possessor of severe military might, so they probed through the homes, and it was a done promise. Or, as the one who passed on a village while it emptied on its trellises, he said, when will Allah give life to this after its death? So, Allah made him die for a hundred years, and then raised him. He said, how long have you been tearing? He said, I have tarried for a day or part of a day. He said, no, you have tarried for a hundred years. Now look at your food and your drink. It is not changed with time and look at your donkey. We will set you up as a verse for the people and look at the bones, how we arise them and then clothe them with flesh. So when it was demonstrated to him, he said, I know that Allah is over everything competent. And the Jews said, Ezra is Allah's son, and the Christians said, the Messiah is Allah's son. That is said with their mouths. They emulate the saying of those who disbelieved before. Allah fought them? So, how will they be fooled? They have taken their rabbis and their monks as lords without Allah and the Messiah Mary's son, and they were not commanding except to worship one God. There is no God except him. Glorified is him above what they are associating.